Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marquia Unique if you are new here and today I just wanted to do a different video. I've never done a make okay I actually have done a makeup video once but it wasn't like a makeup video It was a get ready with me video and it was like back when I first started my channel early last year So it wasn't even it wasn't even a makeup video, but anyway, I just went to Sephora because I needed to get some new makeup because the makeup that I have is so old. I do not wear makeup every day. I am not a makeup connoisseur. I'm not a makeup girl. I'm not even like a makeup person, but I am interested in makeup, especially as I get older. I'm like getting into it more. I am really big on like skincare though, even though I don't have like a real skincare routine. I'm trying to like get one in order, you know? I do use witch hazel on my face every day. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I use it as a toner and it works for me. I like got a bunch of stuff from the beauty supply store back when I was in college and I graduated three and a half years ago. So that goes to show you how old that stuff is. And I feel like I'm trying to run out of certain things. Some things are not looking or feeling the way that they used to because it's old. I read that you're only supposed to keep your makeup for like two years max, some things less than that. I got my makeup done for the first time ever professionally for my wedding two weeks ago. It was very natural, soft glam, and I really liked it. When I go out with my friends and just do like date night with my husband or just like things where I get more dressed up, I definitely do like to put on a little bit of makeup, so I figured let me not go to the beauty supply store, even though they do have a lot of like good products for very low prices, but I wanted to like try out some Fenty and some other name brand makeup things that I've heard so much about. So, all that to say, I'm going to do a makeup haul from Sephora. Let me show you guys what I got. Of course, I gotta try out Fenty Skin. I've heard amazing things about the Hydrovisor, I think I'm saying that right. Um, it's an invisible moisturizer and it has sunscreen in it. My friends have been telling me how important it is to wear something on your face daily with sunscreen. Yes, even if you are African American, we still need sunscreen. When I went to Sephora today, I saw how they had like this little travel pack, I think they call it a starter kit. So I was like, oh, it's perfect because instead of me buying a big bottle that I don't like or that I may not use if I'm not really into it and spending all that money, then I'd rather try this because I also do want to try the cleanser and the fat water. And I tried some of the moisturizer on my skin and I loved it. So just on the back it says, total cleanser, hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or, or drying, daily cleanser and makeup remover in one, use day and night to remove makeup, dirt and impurities, wet skin, work into a lather, rinse, pat, dry, follow with the fat water. And then the fat water says, instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, ooh, even skin tone and fights shine without stripping the skin. Use day and night on clean, dry skin, apply over face with fingers, follow with the hydro visor in the AM. Ah, I'm so glad that I read this. <laughs> Then the Hydrovisor says lightest air hydration, invisible sun protection, defends and brightens skin while reducing the look of pores, oil free, made with care for coral reefs, does not contain oxybenzone or octanoxate. Says use every single day, no excuses, apply before makeup for the ultimate canvas. Okay, so I'm super excited to use this and I like how it has like a step by step and it's just three products and I'm excited, so I'm gonna have to do another video of what I think about Fenty Skin. I'm gonna try that day and night. I'm really good with my skin routine in the morning, but not at night. And whenever I do wear makeup, I always wash my face. If I don't wash my face that after wearing makeup, it's because I'm lit and I just had to make it to the bed. Normally I keep makeup wipes in my car so that I can be like at least getting it off with the makeup wipe before I even get home. Next thing I got, I'll kind of go in order with like the way that I would apply it, I guess, kind of. So just to start really quickly, I love natural glam. I love like the makeup, no makeup look. I even got natural glam for my wedding and it just was perfect. So I always use, I used to use a primer. I don't use primer anymore, but I got a primer that I'll show you guys. I would like wash my face, use, I spray witch hazel with a cotton pad. I don't know if that's good or not, so don't say anything if it's not good, because that's just what I do and it works for me. After that, I would just put lotion. Y'all, I use lotion, like Jergens body lotion that I use on my body, on my face, and that's just every day. Then I go, I'm done. But when I do my makeup, I do that, and then I use the eyebrow pencil to fill in my brows just a little bit. Then I use like the clear eyebrow gel just to 
keep them in shape then mascara and then a little bit of eyeshadow if my eyebrows are looking good and then I have like this concealer that I just use like under my eyes right here um, down here and just like over here so I like, guess like my t-zone kind of I had like a setting powder and it was like the color of my skin tone because I don't I don't want anything white like I don't bake I don't know how to do any of that kind of stuff so just something to like even out the rest of it and set the concealer so I put that on just a little bit like just a little bit and then I would oh use some highlighter just a little bit of highlighter that's it just wanted to put that in there so that you guys could have an idea of like why I bought the things that I bought this Sephora brand smooth and blur primer and I used it on my thing on my hand and it was like okay I, I like it We'll see how it works, but it says um, diffuses the look of imperfections with ginkgo extract. Hope I'm saying that right. Stabilized vitamin E. So this is what I got. So I'm gonna try that out. For the concealer, I got the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, and I got the color 445. And there was another one that matched my skin tone. It was like golden brown. This one is like olive brown or something like that, but. They didn't have it and I'm impatient so I just like needed to get it and this one matched really well too it actually they both were really great I compared it because I'm not trying to be out here looking crazy and I do have a little bit of a tan because I just got back from vacation check out my St. Bart's vlog I just posted it earlier this week this is the concealer that I got from Fenty Beauty and I'm very very excited to try this because my old concealer is like from Beauty Supply Store so I'm excited to have like a good quality uh, concealer Next, I got just this Sephora brand eyebrow pencil, waterproof. I got it in the color Granite. Granite, is that what I picked? Did I read this right? I hope it's right. <laughs> Cause you know like when you try something from the tester and then like things are not always in the right place. So I hope this is right. But if not, I'll probably just keep it anyway. As long as it's dark, we're good to go wow the next thing i got is this sephora eyeshadow palette called i love bloom and i'll show you guys the color of this it's in the marigold color i love like just very natural neutral earth tone colors for eyeshadow i had this one Too face palette that i love and i'm probably gonna throw it away because it's so old y'all and this one has like very similar colors i also have a kylie is it a cut no it's kim's but I'm not throwing that away because I just got that like two years ago. I probably should, but I barely use it. But I'm going to keep it. This is the palette. So yeah, super pretty colors. Like very neutral. That's what I use. That's what I love. And all my old makeup, I'm throwing it away today. Like it's got to go. Sephora brand baked face powder in the color Toffee Micro Smooth. So I got this color. And like I said, I like just like a setting type of powder over my concealer and just to like allow someone would start to cut their grass or whatever they're doing while I'm recording this video. That's another thing. I don't use foundation. I don't really care for foundation. If I'm going for like glam or if I get my makeup done by someone, I'll do foundation. But for me to apply foundation, like it's just not my thing. I don't, I don't really like it. It's too much work. It's just too much. Too much, too much. So next. Oh, yeah. I got, I should have said this after I had the eyebrow pencil, I just got the Sephora brand Clear Brow Gel in the color clear. I've also heard that you can use like a black mascara, but maybe if I didn't like fill in my brows and I just use that, but I don't know, this works for me and I like it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Next, I got the Sephora Hydrating Lip Balm with avocado butter and plant-based squalane. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, swipe on lips for instant hydration in the color clear and I actually opened this up and just used this before this video and I thought it was gonna be clear but it's not clear it's like whatever color that is like a yellowish color but I actually kind of like it because it's like the roller lip balm things but I don't like those it's like a lotion for my lips but I like it because it's not like sticky it's just moisturizing I got this makeup by Mario soft glow highlighter which I'm really excited about. It's in the color bronze. I was going to get the Fenty highlighter, but the lady at Sephora, she was so sweet. She was like, we only have one more left in this color. And the Fenty one is like really glittery and shimmery, which is great. But since you say that you look for more of a natural glam, I suggest this one. And on the back it says, this silky luxe highlighter melts onto your skin and creates that effortless back from the beach glow. 
and let me show you guys this highlighter it is so pretty isn't that just gorgeous and when she put it on my hand like look at this oh yes like it just matches my skin tone really well but it's like a shimmery like not too much but just enough like i love it so i can't wait to use that and then last but not least very plainly i got the sephora makeup setting spray this says 16 hour wear transfer proof sweat and humidity resistant with ginseng extract i'm not picky about setting sprays i don't like anything too crazy and i just listen it's very like misty i like the way that this sprayed it was light and airy so yes that is all that i got from sephora today definitely gonna let you go let you guys know how i like the fenty skin and if i love it i'm gonna get some more so thank you guys so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe and all those good things thank you bye